that, so let's see. E to the 0.75 power times 2, 4.23-ish, 4.2. And then if we put in 2, let's see. Times two, eight point nine six. So let's just call it nine point zero if we round it. So if we were to graph these, negative two zero point four five. There ish, we have negative one point nine four. We have zero two one four point two. Whoops, that's up there. And then two and nine. It's about there. So domain is always all real numbers on this. And then the range has that asymptote at zero again. So zero to positive infinity. Let's try one more of those. Now this is reflected because it's negative three. So if we substitute in these numbers, Now, if we put in zero, e to the zero is one times negative three is negative three. So we already know the y-intercept is negative three. Let's see what we got here. Negative three times e to the, when we put in negative two there, we end up with negative 1.1. Put in negative one. Let's see, I'll just change the x one. Ah, now, that would have been nice. Three times e to the negative 0.5, 1 uh, If we put in 1, man, it's such a pain to find that e button on my calculator. Negative 4.9. And if I put in 2, Negative 8.2. All right, so here's our numbers. Let's see what this graph looks like. Negative 2, negative 1.1. We have negative 1, negative 1.8. We have 0, negative 3, 1, negative 4.9, and 2, negative 8.2. It's about there. So this will just be an upside down one. Whoops. It almost looks like I hit some lines. Domain, again, all real numbers. If the range has an asymptote at zero, but it goes downward towards negative infinity. All right. We have three of these problems with um, compounded interest. You just you have p times e to the rt power. Rate has to be as a decimal. T is time, of course. All right. We deposit a thousand dollars. That's our p times e to the rt. It's eight percent, so 0 0.08 times the time, one year. So we just go ahead and chuck that in our calculator. One thousand times e to the 0 0.08 Power, and it comes out to $1,083.29. That's not too bad. Once you drop it in the formula, your calculator does it for you. You put $15,000 in an account that pays 7.5% interest compounded with the balance after one year. So 15,000 times e to the 7.5% is 0 0.075 times 1, 1,500 times e to the 0.075 power, $1,616.83. We got one more of those. What is the total amount for an investment of $1,000, 5%, 10 years? 1,000 times e, 0 0.05 times 10. Now, 0 0.05 times 10 is 0.5. So 1,000 times 
e to the 0.5 power, $1,648.72. Yes. Consider yourself natural based.